Don't miss that date. Today, we're going to talk about those pesky contract deadlines. Deadlines are actually one of the most important aspects of a real estate transaction. They are so important because the dates and the, and the contract can actually affect your outcome. When an offer is made, there is first an expiration date determined by the buyer making the offer. The seller must respond by that expiration date or that offer expires. So most of the time, there's not much time to consider an offer because the buyer wants an answer right away, especially in this competitive market. So usually the buyer gives you 24 hours or less. I always say, if a seller wants to sell and a buyer wants to buy, let's put it together quickly. Why wait? If the seller misses the deadline without an extension signed by all the parties before the deadline, the buyer is no longer obligated to their offer and they can go find another house. Next important date is the earnest money. It must be received within a certain number of days per the terms of the contract. We often see buyers write in their offer that they want three to five days to turn in their earnest money. If the earnest money isn't delivered where it's supposed to go and the receipt in hand by that deadline, technically, Per the terms of the contract, the buyer is in breach of the contract. So in this scenario, this is what happens. The seller could terminate the contract and then they can accept another offer. Now let's talk about buyer inspections. They must be completed by the stated deadline in the contract as well and a request for repairs must be sent to the seller prior to the expiration of that deadline with the inspection reports. This is the buyer's opportunity to ask you, the seller, to complete items that they want to have repaired at your expense. Now, if the seller doesn't receive a request by the deadline, the buyer's then obligated to accept the property in as is condition. So with no repairs as it is that day. For example, if the buyer determines that the roof is leaking and the request to repair it isn't received by the deadline, they then accepted the property in as is condition. So these deadlines, they're super important because they can no longer expect the seller to repair or replace the roof and they won't be able to cancel the contract due to the property condition. They always can still try to ask for repairs and a lot of times buyers do, but most of the time it doesn't happen. Once that buyer sends the repair request to the seller, then we start the repair negotiation period. So between the receipt of the repairs request and the resolution deadline, we renegotiate to make sure that both parties have come to an agreement together on the repairs that you, the seller, will agree to do. Now, if the buyer and the seller can't reach an agreement or you, the seller, don't respond by that resolution deadline, the buyer then has to decide whether to back out of the deal or take the house in as is condition. And if they don't respond by the re resolution deadline, then they're taking it in as is condition. I know, I know, I know, it can be so confusing, which is why you have a real estate agent that is helping you through the process. But I tell all my clients, you want those dates everywhere. Put them in your phone, put them in your planner, sticky notes on your fridge, on your computer screen, 
whatever it takes to make sure that you don't miss any of those dates. The last date that I'll address here is the closing date and the possession of the property. The most important part, when you get the keys to your new house. Obviously, we need to take the closing date seriously, but getting to closing on time is dependent on so many people. You've got the lender, and the lender has the loan underwriter, and you've got the appraisers who are always running behind, and the escrow company, and if you need a septic inspection, and it just goes on and on. And sometimes you realize you just can't close on time and meet some of the other deadlines. So then it is critical that we negotiate a contract extension before the deadline expires. I realize this is a ton of information here to digest, but of course, if you are working with an experienced agent like myself, you'll be able to help, they'll be able to help you monitor the necessary dates and deadlines. I want to help you establish roots in Central Virginia and set, set you up for selling success.